in 1954, we awakened something. Well, there's nuclear tests in the Pacific. Not tests. They were trying to kill it. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh my god, uh oh, 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 oh. who's up? Uh -oh. Don't, don't, oh. Who's talking that shit right? Wouldn't that be cool if, uh, <laughs> wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be cool if Godzilla came here like a wrestling match, right? <laughs> Where's Martin Thomas? I'll tell you, brother, he wants to talk shit about me. Let him say it to my face. I'm here. Yeah, you talking all that shit about Godzilla a little while ago, man. You didn't know he was going to be here, did you? Actually, it ain't Godzilla that you got to deal with, Martin. It's these fans it's out the Godzilla here. fans. It's oh, these... my God. The, the monster is fine. These are fans. Star Wars fans and Godzilla fans. They, they need to, to, to duke it out in the ring. You didn't know. See, you didn't know how big Godzilla was. Because like, I know that you're not really a, you're kind of a Godzilla hater. I know that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself a hater. But, I, but see, the reason why I say hate is because I see the disdain in your face with all these fans coming out saying, man, I can't wait for Godzilla. And I get it. I get it, Mark. Do you get it? <laughs> I do. I do. Because everybody's talking about how great this movie's going to be. They're saying, this movie, I, I know it's already going to be good. I already given my rating. Man, this is a four-star movie right here. It's going to be excellent. And I, when you hear people already, yeah, when they're ready to just love a movie, they're not going to be able to give like a fair assessment to no, it. No, no, they can't. And, and the thing is, as much as I've been like, ah, oh, Godzilla, okay, what, whatever. When I saw The Winter Soldier the second time, they, and I got to see the trailer on the big screen, I was like, oh man, this does look good. I can't wait to see this. Oh yeah. When it comes time for us to give our review. To give our, our, our fair, balanced, and, and true, mm. honest rating. If we are not giving them the review that they want, they are going to hate us. Yes. Hey, I give it four <coughs> stars. Only four? Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a four-star system. Still, only four? You, you can't give it one more star, man. I'm not that person. I'm going to say, Godzilla, goddamn, boy. For part of it. <laughs> let, let me just get that out there first. Okay. I love this movie. For part of it. I'm, so don't attack me. And now, now let Stop me, being a pussy. Now, Martin, you know, look, you know how they get, man. Shit, you know, I, I value my life. I'm more scared of these fans than I am of Godzilla. Shit, I, I've seen them go nuts. And I, you, and I want to be sincere here. You, I am a Godzilla fan. Grew up with Godzilla. Love Godzilla. So did I. And, and you know, the thing is, it's funny when I was growing up, I loved that Godzilla, that man, that rubber suit beating people the fuck down like a wrestling match. When uh -huh. I saw the original Godzilla, I was like, what's this shit? <laughs> you know, as a kid, I'm like, I can get it, man. Where, where, where are the other monsters at? Where are all these Japanese people running around and shit? Uh -huh. I, I respect it now, but, but... But back then. But back then. And let me just say... But anybody out there who was like me, well, you can give a fuck about that, or the, the source, where you're like, no, nah, I don't want that shit. I want that fake shit. You know, I want that. I want that, the, the cardboard buildings and where Godzilla's friend of the children and all that. Uh, this movie captured that for me. For part of it. <laughs> can I keep stressing that to you? They're trying to bring in all this human drama. It don't matter. What this is, it's exactly what you want for some of the movie. It is Godzilla coming out. And saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Y'all didn't ask me if y'all can come to my town. <laughs> you know? It does I, seem like one of those, like, like, this is my corner. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember sending out invitations for y'all to come attack my town. And Godzilla in this movie, the, the, he, a lot of people, they're divided, Martin. They say, I like, some people say, I like my Godzilla as a villain. Uh -huh. And then some people say, I like my Godzilla as a force of nature. Yeah. And then some people say, I like Godzilla as the hero. Right. Martin, you get it all in this movie right here. I think in bits and pieces, you get it all. But for the most part, you get that Godzilla that everybody's cheering for his ass. They want him to, like, whoop ass, save the world, and that's the fucking Godzilla that I love. That's what you got here. You know what, what Godzilla you get the most of? What? His back. Those, <laughs> those, those, those six or seven fins on his back. I swear to God, I clocked it for the first hour of this movie. <laughs> All you see are those fins of his sticking out of the water. And there's a quick shot of him rising up, and then you go another 20 minutes before you see him again. That, I, I think part of what's wrong with this movie is that they spelled Godzilla wrong. Because um, I think it should have been G-O-D-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z. Oh, you trying to make jokes. This shit was boring. <laughs> see, 
You're trying to make jokes. Okay, you, am, I, am I lying? You stop me if I'm lying. But you're right. <laughs> Were you not bored? Because I was like, I was baffled. Because it was almost like one of those Star Wars experiences where I'm just like, no, nah, man, it, it's just heating up. And when I felt myself getting bored, I was like, that's all right, though, because cause some cool shit's about to happen. Oh, yeah. And it took me it took me a little over an hour to like realize, like, this is just dull. This is this nothing. It's it's focusing a lot on those other two monsters whose names aren't in the title. Who I didn't come to see. It's like whoever create whoever designed those <clears throat> the creature shop for just like, like man check out what we did. It's like yeah that's not what I'm here for though. When I saw this clip and I'm sure y'all did too, but I'm gonna play it again. When I saw this clip, I was like, oh hell yeah, oh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's on. This alpha predator of yours, Doctor. Do you really think he has a chance? The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control and not the other way around. Let them fight. I love that. Godzilla's like, he, when everybody's running, he's like, hold on. Oh, yo, hold on. I got I this got shit. This. Right. Don't y'all, y'all, <laughs> hey, hey, no, don't y'all run. Y'all just move out the way. Mm -hmm. I got this shit. And you wait like, fuck yeah, let's fight. Next scene. It's fighting on a little bitty tube Man, like this. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. This director, Gareth Edwards, he goes out of his way to not show this fight. Like, you see it, like, you, yeah, you, you think you're going to see it on a big screen? Nope. But you catch it in the background on somebody's monitor. Or, so wait, wait, somebody's watching on TV in the back of their camcorder, looking out of a mirror, maybe some <laughs> artist's drawings of it. But the actual fight? Nah, he can't show you that. It's for the first hour and 30 minutes, hour and 30 minutes, Ain't shit happening in this. Now, y'all can say what you want to. Look, the human drama in this, you don't care about these people. The only person you really care about is Brian Cranston. These two creatures they got in here, they look like any other creatures that we see out there. Now, don't, they don't look bad. They don't look but bad. But they ain't Godzilla. They, they, they don't look bad, but, they, but they're not all terribly different from what? The, the aliens from ID4 or the Cloverfield monster. Okay, so my first hint that something was going to go wrong with this movie yeah. was in the opening credits. Okay. Because the names are popping up, you know, all the actors who are in it. And then I was like, oh, did I blink and miss Brian Cranston's name? And his at the, at the last, and it says, and Brian Cranston. So that tells you that he's actually not a major part of this movie. This motherfucker's crying like he's in a drama about a cancer patient. Like, uh -huh. he, like he's lost his son. I mean, he's crying his ass off through this movie. I mean, he's the most pussified person in the film, but at least he's bringing some drama bringing to it. bringing something to it. I'm not spoiling anything. Let me just say, my man is gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just telling you, I'm not going to say why he's gone, but after about 30 minutes, yeah, he's, he's gone. So And so does, when, once he's gone, all the human element is gone. <laughs> Ken Watanabe has that, that sad look on his face the whole time. Oh, yeah. S uh, Sally <laughs> Hawkins, who I didn't even know was British after what she did in- uh, Oh, the Woody uh, Allen movie? Yeah. yeah. Um, but she's just kind of toadying with him, what, whatever he says- Oh yeah, uh, uh, David Strathairn, Strathairn, who's a great actor, just plays generic military guy. And, yeah, and, and number one is uh, Kickass, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and he's just one of those actors for me who just like whenever everything I see him in, I just feel nothing with that guy. But here's where it got me: the scene where they come in and they show Godzilla about to fight. We get a foot. We get Godzilla's face. We see Godzilla. We see what he looks like. It's not like they're trying to hide him or some yeah. shit. He's in full glory, like he does that. He does that fucking uh, Power Ranger shit. He stands and he's like, "Fuck, let's do it." Yeah. And they cut. Cut. And, that, and the reason why that that's bad is because the movie could have used a nice centerpiece. And let me explain by that. The movie could have, the movie could have used a centerpiece. And I know it would have cost more money, but I think it would have been better for the pacing of the film. If in the middle, Godzilla would have been fighting, and Godzilla was getting his ass kicked. And he's like, shit, you know, I didn't really plan this out too well. <laughs> right. You know, yeah, let me, let me get the fuck out of here, man. You know, rethink this. Right, but right. Go off in the woods, train a little bit, come train. back. You know, yeah, go yeah. hang out in the water and shit, you know, maybe give him a montage. Just, you know, and I ain't, I'm fucking around. I know y'all mad about that. But no, just have him, he could do something where he's losing the stakes are high. And we're like, oh shit, he's fighting one creature and getting his ass whooped. When he has to fight more, how is that going to be? Right. Imagine how the, the emotional stakes would have been up for Godzilla had that happened. Oh, absolutely. But they, but they cheated. Well, you don't even know how he got out of that fight. Well, plus, man, I mean, his coming in, like, it's not really explained well at all. Um, and just the way everybody accepts him, like, he's a force for good. I was like, 
I don't know. It seems like even if he's trying to do good, he's going to destroy half the city. And nobody seems to be concerned. This guy, Gareth Edwards, man, who's only movie before this big feature-length film is Monsters. Yeah. And in that movie, you hardly see the creatures in there. And when you look at it, you can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to do the same thing. Now, he's trying to do – people keep comparing it to that Jaws model where you don't see the shark. Go the Jurassic Park route where yeah. I get really one or two kick-ass scenes and then at the end – that's when you just bring it all. I mean, I don't need all this slow shit throughout the movie. You know, that's the thing, man. Like, at an hour and a half into it, it occurred to me. I was like, you know what? I, even if I want to say something favorable about this movie, the fact is I have not seen any scene that's memorable. I, I haven't seen anything that's cool. That you go like, well, this is cool. Now, yes, everything that's cool about it comes in the last half hour. But when you say it kicks ass, it kicks ass the way the pod race kicked ass. Because everything before that, was so such a big zero you that you dare. were just so happy to have don't, something. Don't you dare. And then when you went back, you saw the when you went back and looked at the pod Dude. race later, you were like, uh, that was kind of lame too. That pod race ain't got shit on the last thirty minutes of man, this movie, look, man. Look, the, I, look, look, it's Godzilla doing the stuff you want him to. You want him. He's finally doing the stuff you want him to do, but it's over pretty quickly. It it is, and that's what. And it's like this should have been so much. Matter of fact, seeing it, yeah, it's cool, but I'm like, it just reminds me of like. How much of this was not in this movie already? Okay, now Martin, here's where I pass part. I will I'll oh. shake your hand. Okay, this is this is where that fandom got your ass. It's, Come on, fanboy, let's nice, hear it. It's, it's nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a goddamn fanboy. I ain't gonna lie. I, the, the, I, let me just say some good things about this man. Okay, let me just quit, let me quit complaining because really, the writers and Gareth Edwards. They got it. Now, maybe they weren't fully successful, but they got it. They knew the essence of Godzilla. They know the mythology behind Godzilla, Martin. They know Godzilla. Yeah. It's like they sat down and had a talk with Godzilla. Godzilla said, don't fuck my movie up again. And they, they, they and that, and that's what it fucked it up anyway. And they, for about an hour, they did. <laughs> but at least they got the essence of it right. <laughs> right. After, after 90 minutes, they finally got it. They got it. You know, it took a little time to get started, but they got it. And the great thing of, uh, about this new redesign of Godzilla is that this is what we wanted. Now, a lot of people, just, they're going to like this just because it's not the 1998 Godzilla. But, they, but with, in, the, in the 1998 Godzilla, they made the cardinal sin of trying to reinvent Godzilla. Yes. Uh, it, here they, they found a happy medium between that Godzilla that looks more like a traditional dinosaur and the you know the Godzilla model we've seen from the rubber suit they 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 got it. I mean the Chinese do say that he, this, this Godzilla is too fat. <laughs> and after a while, I started looking at him. I was like, yeah, he he, he might want to lay off see, <laughs> some you, subway trains. And see, I'm like my mama. I look at Godzilla and I say, <laughs> that boy's healthy. You know that, that that boy he he look healthy. You know he, need, he I saw him in other movies. He looked like he he need to eat something. He looked a little skinny. <laughs> I mean the thing is, it does make him more structurally sound because it's one of the things with Godzilla where it's like. You know, a real Godzilla would be, too, he would fold in on himself just because of gravity. You got to let it go. It's Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's the problem with the movie is that it could have used more humor. Because them oh, try, my God. Tr- it takes okay, way, itself way too seriously. Trying serious. to take Godzilla seriously the way they did in this movie, trying to be serious, just points out how fucking dumb this is. <laughs> <laughs> all right? It is. But that being said, once it finally starts going, all the creatures I thought looked good. Like I'm saying, we don't want to see the Mutos because it's not their movie. We, we don't care about that. So, somebody didn't tell them it wasn't their movie because they are in it a lot. They are in it more than Godzilla. But the thing, Martin, is that what I like about it, especially with Godzilla, they all look – okay, Godzilla, first of all, looks like a natural creature. Yeah. Looks like a real creature. Yeah. And the Mutos, while they don't actually – I keep thinking about like that's a cereal or something. Yeah. The Mutos. Do, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mutos fresh and full of life. That name is so funny. I was like, why don't you just call them the mofos? Yeah. <laughs> Godzilla did. You mofos get the fuck out of my city. But they do. What well, the thing about all of them? While the while the Mutos don't look as good as Godzilla does, because mm-hmm. we just want to see Godzilla anyway. It looks they they do look like creatures that could destroy the planet, or oh, at least yeah. the human race. Yeah. When if they you think if these creatures breed, yeah. It's, it's over. Yeah, there is that feel. You're, you're right. You're right. There is tension in that. They're looking at them, and when they have the hatchlings, it's like, if this happens, we're done. Yeah. Another thing, man, uh, Ken Watanabe, who is an actor that I enjoy. Guy sure. has so much charisma when he comes on the screen. Oh, he, I mean, he demands presence. 
In this movie, he just looking like the whole time, where the fuck are my keys at? <laughs> Should I? Did I leave some on at the house? What well, the? It's, it's, <laughs> it's actually pretty annoying that they got such good actors, him and, and Brian Cranston uh, and, and David Strait there and, and Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, yeah. Who is completely wasted in this movie. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I was like, why did y'all even have her show up? Well, Aaron Taylor Johnson is somebody that I like, man. I know you don't like him that much, but when I see Aaron Taylor Johnson, I think this guy's a great actor. You, didn't ever, you never saw Nowhere Boy, did You're you? right, I didn't. Nowhere Boy, he's great in. I've seen, he's a British actor, so when I see yeah. him be able to do different accents and whatnot, I think he's a great actor. It's just that you're right. He's unfortunately... He's one of the characters who was written with absolutely not a fucking thing to do. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. He's the apparently the only fucking guy in the world that can disarm a bomb in yeah. the world. Yeah. He walks in the middle of the military and like, uh, you know, I defuse bombs. Uh, can, 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 can I help out? And they're like, oh, you do? Oh, well, we need that. Come yeah, on. Oh, you know? I, what a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. We were looking for a guy like you. Nobody ever checks his military credentials or anything. No, like, no. oh, you okay, okay man, go, go suit up then. Come yeah, on in. Yeah, and he, he's looking like this. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Fuck all that. All I hear to see Godzilla, man. And when you get him, it is the American Godzilla that I've always wanted to see. No, fuck that. It is the Godzilla that I want to see an update on. This Godzilla, this CG Godzilla that kicks ass, is a hero, saves the day. And people are like, fuck yeah, that's my man right there. Here's another thing about Godzilla. There's points here where they actually humanize him, man. There's, a, there's just a couple spots. They say he's a force of nature, but they've done something I hardly ever seen them do, where you get to see just an ounce of, of a soul within him, where he's yeah. just like, there's, there's even a point he's getting his ass kicked. Yeah. You remember that? He looks, and he falls and looks at Aaron Taylor John. He's like, hey, look, man, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you. Hey, he looked, he looked at, he looked at Aaron, Aaron Taylor John and like, hey, tell my mom I love him. Right, man. right, right. <laughs> tell, right. tell my girlfriend I, I, I miss her. All right. There's a point where you do feel sorry for him. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I mean, <sighs> people, you're not going to like what I'm about to say, but you can wait. The, you, you're going to see the whole movie. That's fine. But you can wait for the last 30 minutes, go in, and I can promise you, you're not going to really miss all that much. That last 30 minutes. As a Godzilla fan, Martin, as a Godzilla fan, that's what people want to see. And if, I'll recommend it like this, Martin. I'll say this. If you are a Godzilla fan, go see it the first time so you can say that you did it. Pay for nah. that. Don't, don't tell them I told you this, but the second time you see it, just sneak in for the last 30 minutes. That's all you need to see. That's how. That's, that's my rating. And that's, 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 that's the rating is just sneak in for the last 30 minutes. Sneak in for the last. No. It about, see it full price the first time. Sneak in. Don't pay for it the second time. And that... That balances out, Martin. Are you giving this movie a full price? Um, that balances out. Are you, are you, are you recommending full price for Martin, this Martin, you don't hear me. You pay full price to see it the first time. You sneak in to see it the second time, Martin. That balances out. What, what, are, you, what are you saying there? It balances out to a matinee. <laughs> if you're not a Godzilla fan, then just fucking just wait. You know, <laughs> watch Cloverfield or Jurassic Park again. Yeah, yeah. Two, two movies that actually have plots and characters and, 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 and move along and, and are good. Uh... I swear to God, man, I so wanted to like this movie, but you know what? I came to the conclusion that if the Roland Emmerich movie from 1998 had had a Godzilla that looked like this, everybody would have loved it. No. It, 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 it had more going for it than Let this did. stop this motherfucker right here. Don't know. Martin. I mean, take out the goofy humor and the... And the Martin, the, you don't speak for us. <laughs> you don't speak for the Godzilla fans. <laughs> You can't, even, you can't I, even talk I've, right I've, now. I've studied your ilk. And, <laughs> and, and, and as long as you get something that looks like what you remember from your childhood, you, you people are happy. I'm to, no. You're, that, you're, you're fuck to, you, that ain't, you're that ain't true. You're accept these scraps. No. Even you, a seasoned movie veteran and reviewer, even a director in your own right. A fair man. Please. Fair? Yes. Fair? You, you give this such a pass. You, anything else? I, I, any movie I go like, hey, man, it's had some great merits. I don't know. I nitpicked and I found these things. You can't somehow you. somehow you you can't find your your, your way to, you. to to find all the obvious things wrong with this. How fucking dare I've you? Seen you I drop, said was wrong with this. I know. I've seen you drop a movie a whole rating point because they had a female character they did nothing with. Here it's as blatant as blatant can be, and yet you somehow like oh yeah I guess that was in there. I don't know. 
well, I'm a fan and Godzilla's in it. So, you know, what you going to do? Full price. <laughs> Y'all heard. I didn't give him free. See, yes, you did. You, yes, you, you did, bro. You were fucking yes, you lying. <laughs> you told people, go pay full price for it. Y'all rewind this shit. I said, go pay full price Godzilla for it. Godzilla fans, pay full price. But, boom. Godzilla boom. fans. Y- Yana, I rest my case. But Answer assholes question, like yes you. Or, yes or no? Answer the question. I, I said what was wrong with it. I said what was good about it. I think I gave it a fair rating. If you can't appreciate that, then I feel sorry for you, that, bro. That, you need to look up the word fair because you've lost what that is. All right. Let me tell you something, <laughs> you people. Uh, Godzilla fan or not, why would I tell you to pay full price for a movie that I know is only good-ish in the last 30 minutes? Uh, why would I expect you to pay full price and then want to go see it again whether you sneaking in or not. Fuck that. Uh, I won't give this movie some old bullshit, but I will say mm, rental. So you can, once you rent it, you can watch that last 20 minutes in your leisure. Because let me tell you something else about this movie. For all the IMAX and the 3D, they don't do jack shit with the 3D. I, I took my glasses off for a lot of it because I was like, this is doing nothing. They, I, they didn't treat it at all. I disagree. I disagree. They had some scenes in there. Where th- this is what makes the last part so good because they finally found a balance between the humans and the creatures. Where the humans are coming in and they're, they have to defuse a bomb in the middle of these fighting creatures and go in the heart of the city where they are creating all uh-huh. the destruction. Uh-huh. I thought that that part, when the paratroopers are coming down and the, 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 you see them flying or, or landing down past Godzilla's face and going past his body, I thought that that worked well. But see, you a hater, uh, man. You don't appreciate the no, thing. No, that, 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 that just didn't look all that good. Martin, you just don't, you're not a Godzilla fan. And I understand that. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and, and uh, therefore, yes, you will yes, not see. Yes, and, and thus I will not put on the blinders and, 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 and blur my vision and so I, I don't no, acknowledge these things. What you will do is have a reaction against this because what you're doing right now, you're projecting what you hate about the fans onto this film. And that's okay, <laughs> no, man. No, no, I'm projecting what I hate about this film onto this film. Okay, <laughs> you keep thinking that. Yeah, I understand. I'm not mad at you. The only fan I'm not mad the at. The only you, fan man. in my face right now is you. I'm not mad at. <laughs> One thing I will say this: if you're Asian, I don't think they do you any better than what they do in any other movie, man. Because all these Americans are doing the work. Yep. All the Japanese people just running, running y'all's run. ass off. They ain't a scene. Japanese people. Every time they see something in this movie, they say, "Fuck it, y'all handle this." Right. <laughs> running, and if and by the way, why they're running? They still getting killed, yep. getting stepped on, having shit drop on them for something that came from Japan. Hey, J- Japan, this is this is your monster, <laughs> this is your creature, and we treating y'all like shit. <laughs> I, but being I ain't Japanese, you know I can deal with. It. <laughs> oh, Martin, you know what, man? Hopefully you'll come around one day, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll pray for you. I'll pray to Godzilla. Oh, that's the secret of the Godzilla movie. Yeah. The less you show him, the better. <laughs> Sorry, right, Martin. You're talking all that shit. That's all right. We got some trivia for you right now, Martin. Now, I'm glad that I have some trivia for you right here because I know you're going to lose every question because you just don't believe the Godzilla. <laughs> Wrong. Is, God- is Godzilla real? Could, could is Godzilla actually exist? <laughs> Godzilla, he is real. Right here in my heart. Right here. Right here. Forever will be. <laughs> Boy, it was, it was some silly shit how they... Uh, how they, how they explain Godzilla too? What? I mean, look, I'm not telling you. I'm not. I'm not saying the movie's perfect because even when Ken Watanabe comes in, the way they explain Godzilla, like when they say his name, he's like, he is a god creature. We call him Godzilla. I know. Like, I like know. why don't we just all just give it like a standing applause? Oh yes, Godzilla, yes. Yeah, expecting somebody to look at him and go, for real? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Martin, talking all that shit. Got. A trivia question here for you, man. All right. Now, you say you like the original Godzilla, right? Probably the pure Godzilla, right? I never said that. You didn't? No. All right. I think you did. I think I heard you. <laughs> so, being that you're such a Godzilla purist, Martin, when was the original Godzilla released, and what was the original title? 1967, Gojira? No, when? 1955. Okay. Oh, okay. You stick with that? Uh, 1950s. I'm not sure. No, no, you said 1955. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Martin. (laughs) It is 1954. Oh, you were so close. You were so close, brother. So close. You want to try to spell Godzilla? 
Are the original title Godzilla? G-O-J-I-R-A. You know what, Martin? For your prize, you're going to get <laughs> half, a half a cookie right there. There you go. You're still, you're still a winner right there, Martin. I would ask for the one that doesn't have your fingerprints all over it. I think it's, it's, my hand, what's wrong, man? My hands are clean. <laughs> Jesus, man. You don't trust anything, man, touching all this equipment. I don't know who's been messing with that. Martin. First of all, I'm the only one touching this. Second of all, I scrub down the equipment every day uh, before I use it. You have I'm, cats walking around in they here. Don't, they're not allowed in here to work this equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to stay out. That's, that's how there's so many cats on the internet. <laughs> all right, Martin. I have another question for you all here. Right. And this question is, you could probably get this. A motion capture expert was brought in to consult on the movement of the creatures, giving them their soul. Who was this person, Martin. Uh, Andy Circus. Andy Circus, you sure about that? Nope. <laughs> a winner, Martin. <laughs> Look at that, man. So you're not doing so good. So you know guys a little bit. Look, I'm gonna go ahead. All oh, right. Another full cookie. Martin, you got two and a half cookies right now. <laughs> two and a half full cookies, boy. You got a good meal tonight. No kidding. <laughs> All right. Man. That's that's way more than they give me at the shelter. <laughs> <laughs> I was good to you, Martin. <laughs> All right, Martin, here's our third trivia question right here. Ah, Number three, Gareth Edwards describes Godzilla, this is multiple choice, as a cross between a Komodo lizard and A, a bear, B, a T-Rex, C, a sumo wrestler, D, a German shepherd. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say a sumo wrestler. A sumo, a sumo wrestler. Yeah. Let me look at my answer here, Martin. Sorry, Martin. No, it was a bear. It was. Why did you go with your instincts, Martin? Because I, I think I even heard bear. Um, but I don't know. It's, he's Japanese. He's he's usually wrestling with these other monsters. I got it. I got it. That was. You know what? I threw that in there just to throw you off like that. Ha. Thought you would have actually been a little more wise. Oh one, well. One step ahead on me. All right, Martin. I have a very fun game for you right here. <laughs> just three. Just three questions, but it's a fun game. Okay. Now we're going to do. A little word association here, all right? Uh huh. Now, the way this works is I'm going to say Godzilla versus, and I'm going to say something that describes the creature that he's fighting. Let's do a test right here. Okay. Now, Godzilla versus a monkey. King Kong. See? You got it. See, now, if you can just keep that up. Okay. By the way, I'm playing that music, but that's not an official I know, question. No, I, know. I, I realize that. <laughs> All that, right. That's the one I would have got right. That's the one you would have got right. Maybe you'll get this one. Okay. All right. Our first question here. Godzilla versus three-headed monster. Ghidra. See, look at that. Got it. Yes. <coughs> it is King Ghidra right there, Martin. All right. You got that one. Let's see if you can get this next one. Our next one is Godzilla versus smoke. Uh, the smoke monster? Oh, Martin, you were very close. You were very... The Smog Monster, Smog Martin. Monster. There he is right there. You that's, remember the Smog Monster? Right. Look at him. Smog Monster from, was from Lost. Oh, you see? Right. Oh, yeah. oh, Martin. Can't remember me. I was one of his deadliest enemies. <laughs> All right, Martin. Our last one right here. Okay. Godzilla versus himself. Himself? Yes, Godzilla versus himself. I bet y'all know, don't you, right there? Yeah, I know, I know they know. Oh, I feel like I used to know this. Now I do not. Want to take a guess? Mm. Want to take a guess, man. Think of all the creatures that he's fought and just take a guess. Megalon? I don't know. Mechagodzilla? It is Mechagodzilla, but you said Megalon before, so yeah. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> going to get Wait, wait, why do you say Godzilla versus a robot? <laughs> Because that's too easy. That's why. Oh, my goodness. Oh, fuck it, man. Shit ain't nothing but fucking peanut butter cookies. Go ahead and take one of the shit. Here. Gotta give you a music. I, I, that's okay. Too. There you go. No, there you go, man. I don't want this shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to Martin. lose. <laughs> you got three and a half cookies right there, Martin. Oh, boy. Uh, 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 <laughs> three. Three nasty-ass cookies. <laughs> 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 fuck them cookies. All right, Martin. 
That is our review of Godzilla. Oh, boy, they're going to be mad at you, Martin. Yeah, they're mad at you. Well, they, they need to be mad at them. They need, they need to be mad at Gareth Edwards. No, no, no. They, they, he tried. You didn't try. Oh, I know. You didn't I try know. to understand. I know. It's, it's easier to attack me than, than go after the real problem. I, mean, I get it. It's, it's, a, you know, it's a transference of anger. I get it. And as a friend, I'm going to tell people out there, look, this is my best friend's people. Don't, don't attack him. He doesn't mean anything. Just, <laughs> just try to have understanding. Yeah, forgive my friend. He's not yeah. feeling well. <laughs> yeah, he, just, he doesn't understand. Feel sorry for him more than pray for him. <laughs> that is our review. That is our trivia. That's our quiz. I had a good time with you today, Martin. Yeah. As I said, when we actually start streaming the show live, that's when we're going to be taking calls from people, maybe okay. ask some questions. But right now, we have to let these people go, Martin. We All have right, to let people, them go. go. Get out of here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Come back, come back. Because before you go, i got to tell you something, people. You can reach me. You can reach Martin, too. But I'm going to tell you how to reach me first. You can reach me at K-C-O-O-L-M-A-N-Z at gmail.com. That's kcoolmans at gmail.com. You can also reach me on Twitter at kcoolman. And I'm on Facebook. Just look up my name. You'll find me. Yeah, you everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm like Godzilla, just tearing shit up yeah, everywhere. No, no take a step. Take out a block. Well, uh, yeah, all the hate mail that you uh, plan on sending me, I guess you could direct it to me on Facebook. Martin at IHateGodzilla.com. <laughs> right. Or uh, on Twitter at Martin underscore no fro. <laughs> 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 all right, Martin. Well, you know what? I don't hate you, so you still got one friend left. <laughs> okay, so hey, if I can win over one Godzilla fan, maybe I can win over the rest. Yeah, yeah, we understand. We're a sympathetic group. Yeah, we'll beat your ass down later like Godzilla. We're on the street, so we can have a real battle. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't say no when I come up behind the corner. Ah! All right, everybody, that is it. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.